Today's tutorial is a pretty in pink, big flirty eye for Valentine's Day. The eyeshadow style for this tutorial is also quite good if you have hooded eyes. If you follow me on Instagram you will have seen a few posts of me complaining about a cold so that is why I look a little bit run down. But we're going to fix that by giving my face a little bit more colour. So I'm using the MAC Studio Fix foundation and I'm using my Real Techniques buffing brush to apply this. So a little bit of useless information for you. Last week I smashed one of my lighting bulbs when I was packing my kit away. So I'm one soft box down this week which seemed to really make my hair look really really dark. I'm not a fan of it. So anyway, moving on. I'm taking that foundation all over my face. I'm going to take it across my eyelids, all down my neck, right up to the hairline. And then because we've buffed that right into the skin, it's not so thick, we're going to go in with concealer just to conceal any areas that need a little bit more coverage. I'm using my MAC Pro Concealer Palette for this and it comes in light, medium and dark and I'm using the medium one. To prime my eyelids, I'm using my MAC Paint Pot in Bear Study and I'm just using my ring finger to apply this. I'm taking that all over the mobile eyelid and this is going to give us a nice iridescent base for our first eyeshadow. The palette I'm using is by Sleek and it's their Paraguaya palette. It contains a mix of matte and shimmer eyeshadows and they're on the pink and peachy shades. So I'm starting off with the lightest colour. I'm using my Real Techniques Oval Shadow Brush to apply this and this colour is very similar to the Bare Study that we've already applied to the eyelid. By adding this over the top we're going to get more shimmer to the eye and it's going to just pack the pigment on, sandwiching the colours, making the eyeshadow last longer. For the crease I'm going to use two matte colours, I'm taking this peachy pink shade mixed with a little bit of this dark brown. I'm using my angle brush by Real Techniques to apply the eyeshadow. So as usual we're going to be creating a nice V shape but we're going to get a more defined line because we're using an angled brush. If you've got hooded eyelids it's probably a good idea to do this looking into a mirror directly in front of you not down because you want to see where the fold of your eyelid is and then apply this colour above that fold so you're creating a false crease. And although I haven't got hooded eyelids, I'm still taking this a little bit above my crease. So as you can see, I've created a nice little triangle from the outer corner of my eye going up and then into the crease. And you can do this whether you've got normal eyelids, mono lids or hooded eyelids. So I'm using my brush very gently just to map out that shape from the inner corner all the way to the outer edge. Then we're going to take a fluffy blending brush and just soften those lines. As you can see, I'm holding the handle upright so that the bristles are blending the colour onto the eyelid upwards. We don't want to take the colour down onto the mobile eyelid. We want to keep it from that crease line upwards. My hand's placed towards the end of the handle and this is going to give me a lighter touch when blending so we're not pulling the brush backwards and forwards moving the skin, we are just moving the eyeshadow. Once that's blended out, we're going back in again with that angled brush, applying a little bit more of the eyeshadow and then blending that again. Notice how I've not taken that eyeshadow the second time round too far over because we've got a nice gradient towards the inner corner of the eye now, we just want to deepen the outer half of the socket. Now as I always mention, it's all about building with a look like this. If you want that crease area to be nice and defined, we're going to have to keep applying and then blending. And this is the key thing to do when you've got hooded lids or mono lids because you want to give the illusion that there's a crease there that isn't actually there. You want to create that deeper appearance so it looks like a shadow. You don't want it to be too thick, you want it to genuinely look like the socket of the eye. And that's why we mix a darker matte brown shade with our chosen colour. As usual, I'm going to fill my brows in using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil in medium brown. I'm just giving them a more natural appearance but just slightly fuller appearance. You can do whatever suits your eyebrows, what you normally do, it's completely up to you. I explain this in a lot of my tutorials. I'd use the pencil to feather through my brow, creating tiny little hair stroke marks. Brows really frame your face, so it's important what you do to them. If you do them over the top, then they're going to be the forefront of your makeup look. But if you keep them more natural, then it will be more about your eyeshadow and the rest of your eye makeup. But however you choose to fill them in, remember that the very front of your brow should be the lightest part as this is how they look naturally. Contrary to my previous comment in one of my last videos, I don't like wearing a highlight on the brow bone, that's just my personal preference, but I know some of you do, so I've applied the lightest shade from that sleek palette again to the brow bone. This is just going to help to catch the light there and make the brow bone look a little bit more prominent. Next I'm using this Cryolan Cream Liner in Ebony. 
and I'm using my favourite liner brush which is actually a paintbrush that I got from Hobbycraft. I will list the name of it in the description bar of the video. Now I'm just taking this from the very inner corner of the eye all the way across the top lid and I'm making it thicker as I get to the outer corner of the eye. If you've got hooded lids you may not want to apply a liner unless it's going to be a waterproof one. If you are going to apply a waterproof eyeliner then I would suggest looking down into a mirror when doing it so it stretches out the skin. I'm going to extend the wing on the outer edge quite far and the eyeshadow that I placed there earlier is going to be my guide. Then from the tip of the extension wing I'm going to pull the brush backwards towards the middle of the eye and this is going to thicken that outer line and I can just fill in the gap with the eyeliner. If you don't get on with eyeliner you can use an eyeshadow to line the top lid. I'm also using that to tight line so I'm going underneath the top lashes and then I've allowed that to dry before moving on so it doesn't print onto my bottom waterline. So a tip to making the eyes look a lot bigger is to apply a cream coal pencil to the waterline. The one I'm using is by Tarte Cosmetics. So this is ideal again if you've got quite small eyes because it's going to really open them up, taking away any pinky tones, making them look a lot bigger. Going back to our sleek palette, I'm taking the matte brown eyeshadow and a flat makeup brush and I'm working that underneath the lower lashes. So this is going to frame the eye, helping to make it look a lot bigger. Also by ever so slightly smoking out that area, it's going to thicken the look of our bottom eyelashes. Now you want to give your lashes a good old curl and apply your favourite mascara. The one I'm using is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'd suggest applying about three coats to your bottom lashes for this look. Now to get that real flirty appearance to your eyes, I'm using a set of multi-layered eyelashes. The ones I'm using are number M104 and they are by Eldora Force Eyelashes. I decided to add a little bit more of that matte brown underneath my lower lashes just to compete with the darkness of our top lashes. Next I'm taking these bottom lashes that are also by Eldora and these are number S407 and these are partial individual lashes which come in 8 sections so they can be used on their own or all together. I'm using my tweezers to apply these, they go underneath the bottom lashes not above. And like you do with your top set, you apply the glue, let it go tacky and then apply the eyelash. What I like about these sets of individual small lashes is that they give you a really nice flirty dolly eye appearance. So now I'm going to add a little bit of colour to my face using my Chanel bronzer and I'm using my Real Techniques Bold Metals Collection tapered brush to do this. So I'm applying it around my hairline and also across the top half of my cheeks and a little bit down my nose. I'll also tape that down my neck. As we're going with a pretty in pink theme, I've decided to use my Orgasm blush by NARS and I'm using my same tapered brush but I'm using the opposite side just to apply that. I'm placing that on the back half of my cheek. I know I've been using these a lot recently but I really really like them, they're my Pro Sculpt powders by MAC and I like these just to add a little bit of contour to the face. I'm using my Zoeva Vegan Face Paint Brush. I like that this is so fine because it allows you just to place the contour exactly where you want it. On my lips I've applied this Cryolan Lip Stain in the shade Gospel which is like a dusky pink shade so I've applied one coat, let it dry and I'm applying a second one. To make the lips match the eyes I'm applying a little bit of that white pencil just in the centre of the lips and this is a great tip if you have small lips because it makes the centre of them look a lot more plump. And that is my pretty in pink makeup look for Valentine's Day. I hope you've liked it, please give me a thumbs up if you have. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will get back to you. If you haven't done already, please subscribe. If you missed any of my previous tutorials, you can click on any of these now and it will take you to them. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.